The discipline of marketing operations began back in 1923, when scientific advertising wrote, there is a science to advertising. Advertisers with a lot of experience have watched, recorded, tried, logged, and kept records of a huge number of campaigns. When things are like this, marketing and promotion become a science. The best way to learn and prove a principle is to test it many times. Marketing operations stayed in the background, doing things like measuring radio ads, doing market research, and looking at UPC data to predict how people will buy things. Then came the internet, and everything changed. Marketers were given access to a world of customer data and technology that let them track digital buying signals and respond with targeted messages. In the early 2000s, marketing teams bought technology quickly to keep up with the constantly changing needs of consumers who were becoming more educated. Modern marketing operations started when chief marketing officers, CEMOS, understood that their technology stacks wouldn't work without oversight and rules. With more than 8,000 marketing technologies available today, marketing operations has become a very important part of putting the CMO's plan into action. The Marketing Operations Handbook will show you how to make a marketing operations group that works well. This book gives you the tools you need to make your marketing operations department an important part of your organization. It covers things like figuring out how mature the function is, doing annual planning, and giving metrics that move the business forward. Chapter 1. An Overview of How Marketing Works Michael McKinnon presents the idea of marketing operations and talks about how it has changed over time in this chapter. He also tells people what the book is about and what they can expect to learn from it. Chapter 2. The History of Marketing This chapter gives a brief history of marketing, starting with the Industrial Revolution and going through its different stages. McKinnon also talks about how marketing has changed since the internet came along. Chapter 3. The Marketing Mix McKinnon talks about the marketing mix, which is made up of the goods, the price, the promotion, and the place. He talks about how each of these things works in marketing and how they can be used to make good marketing efforts. Chapter 4. How to Sell Something This chapter describes the marketing process, which includes study, planning, putting the plan into action, and evaluating how well it worked. McKinnon gives useful advice for each step of the process and shows how to figure out how well a marketing effort is doing. Chapter 5. Using Data Analytics to Run Marketing In this chapter, McKinnon talks about how data analytics can be used to help make choices about marketing. He gives an overview of the tools and techniques for data analytics and shows how to use data to find patterns in how customers act and improve marketing efforts. Chapter 6 planning for marketing. This chapter looks at the process of marketing planning, including how to set marketing goals, build a marketing strategy, and make a marketing plan. McKinnon also gives advice on how to make a marketing budget and use resources well. Chapter 7. Making a Budget for Marketing. McKinnon gives a full look at budgeting for marketing, including how to make a budget, divide up resources, and measure the return on investment ROI, of marketing activities. He also gives advice on how to manage a marketing budget well. Chapter 8. Project Management for Marketing Operations This chapter talks about project management in terms of how marketing processes work. McKinnon shows how to define the scope of a project, make a project plan, and handle the project's resources. He also gives advice on how to deal with partners and share project updates with them. Chapter 9. Performance Measurement for Marketing Operations McKinnon shows how to measure the success of marketing campaigns, including how to create key performance indicators, KPIs, set goals, and keep track of performance. He also gives tips on how to use performance data to improve marketing efforts and increase return on investment, ROI. Chapter 10, How to Automate Marketing This part looks at marketing automation, including how it works, what it can do, and how to put it to good use. McKinnon gives a general overview of marketing automation tools and shows how to use them to make marketing processes run more smoothly. Chapter 11. Account-Based Marketing McKinnon explains the idea of account-based marketing, ABM, which includes making marketing campaigns that are tailored to specific accounts. 
He talks about how to make an ABM plan and gives advice on how to use ABM well. Chapter 12, Putting Customers into Groups. This chapter talks about customer segmentation, which is the process of putting people into groups based on things they have in common or how they act. McKinnon talks about how to divide customers into groups and how to use those groups to make marketing efforts better. Chapter 13, Personalization in Marketing. McKinnon gives an overview of personalization in marketing, which means making marketing messages fit each user. He talks about how to use data and technology to make marketing messages more personal and gives tips on how to do this well. Chapter 14, Technology for Marketing. This chapter talks about the different kinds of marketing technology, such as customer relationship management, CRM, marketing automation, and data tools. McKinnon tells you how to choose the right technology for your company and how to use technology in your marketing operations. Chapter 15, Marketing on Social Media McKinnon gives an overview of social media marketing, including how to choose the right social media platforms, make a social media plan, and measure the success of social media campaigns. He also gives advice on how to use social media well. Chapter 16, Marketing with Content This chapter talks about content marketing, which means making and sharing useful material to attract and keep customers' attention. McKinnon explains how to come up with a content marketing plan and gives tips for making content marketing campaigns and figuring out how well they are doing. Chapter 17. How Marketing Operations Will Change in the Future In the last chapter, McKinnon talks about how he thinks marketing processes will change in the future. He looks at new marketing trends like AI and machine learning and gives advice on how to stay ahead of the curve. Thanks for watching our Amazon book review. If you found our review helpful and you're interested in checking it out for yourself, we've included a link to it in the description below. By clicking on that link, you'll not only get more details about it on Amazon, but also support our channel at no cost to you. So go ahead and click that link to grab your copy of the book and dive into an exciting reading journey. Happy reading and thanks for your support.